All right, awesome. So now that you guys are Facebook audience wizards, we get to move on to the really, really fun part of actually setting up your first campaign. And for some of you, this may not be your first campaign. Um, I mean, first campaign with me walking you through it. Uh, but you know what? There might be something that you learn here that you did not know before. So we are going to hop on. Um, I'm going to share my screen with you guys and I'm going to walk you step by step through everything you need to do to set up a campaign. All right, let's go. Okay, so I'm really excited to show you guys how to set up your um, Facebook ads campaign. Um, but real quick, before we do that step, um, other than the audiences like we discussed in a previous video, the most important part of your ad is going to be your ad creative. And that is why we are showing you how to use your Minta videos for your ads. So before you even think of creating your campaign, you should have already had an idea of what product you want to promote, products or products. And what I suggest you do and what I like to do for my business is create a lot of videos all at one time so I have them ready to go at any given time when I want to start running ads. Um, but I am going to walk you through this, um, showing you how you can select one product and then create your video for it to then put in to your Facebook ad for your ad creative. Um, so what I'm going to do, I'm here in the Minta dashboard, which is very, very easy to use and user friendly. Um, I'm going to head over to this new in um, tab. So I'm going for the sake of this example, I am going to use a new item. Um, and this would be an ad that I would be doing to promote a new item that I have. So I can scroll through and choose a template. Um, the item that I was gonna select was these shorts. If the item that you want is not here in the dashboard, you can always just type in um, up here what you're looking for. So I'm gonna type in pineapple shorts and it brings it up. I'm able to select it. Um, Minta is going to automatically create videos for me with this item. Um, it takes literally like less than 30 seconds and you have a ton of options to choose from. So I can scroll through. I like this template. It's fun. Um, you can hear the music going and I will watch the video through, make sure it looks good. If there's anything that I want to change, I can click this edit button where I am able to change the music. I can add products and I can change the text. I'm going to leave this exactly as is for our example, but if you wanted to customize this anyway, this is where you would customize. So then what I want to do is just select the download or this button here that gives you the options to download. Um, you can share to your Facebook page, um, all of these amazing options that the app gives you. Um, for our example here, we are going to select the download. This way it's stored on your computer and you are able to upload it once we get into the campaign creation portion. Sorry, let me just close this here. Okay, so I am going to select where I want to save this. I'll put it, I have a folder for Facebook ad videos and I will title this new spring shorts. So I know what to grab. All right, so now I can go in and start actually creating my campaign. So we have our creative completed in less than 30 seconds, I have a video ad and we have our audiences created from our previous videos. So what you wanna do is go into your um, Facebook ads manager and get to this screen here and we are going to select create to create our campaign. Always waiting on it to load. <laughs> All right, so um, you have a ton of options here to select from. Um, if you have an e-commerce store, your goal is typically going to be conversions, which are sales. So for the sake of this example, again, we will be using conversions. Um, if you are a newer store and you are just trying to get, you know, traffic, get eyes on your store, start building an audience for retargeting, you could select store traffic, but we are going to select conversions and then we just click continue.
All right, so the first thing we wanna do is name our campaign. And I find, especially if you're going to be running a lot of ads, you want to name these so that you can easily identify what your campaigns are and what the products what the products are that you are advertising in that campaign. So I am going to type Minta Video um, Spring Shorts New Arrivals that when I'm looking at this in my for my results, I'm able to easily see what this campaign was titled. And I'm gonna go ahead, uh, scroll down. You don't need to do anything in this area. Um, I'm going to do a very simplified tutorial here, but just so you guys know um, in the future, this campaign budget optimization, what it is, if you're going to have more than one ad, this is going to be basically like a smart tool and Facebook is going to allocate more of your budget to the ad that's performing better. So if you're testing, um, you are going to want to utilize this to see which ad is getting better performance. So go ahead and you could click it on and then enter your budget and all that there. But right now we are going to leave that off because we are just going to be creating one simple ad set and one simple ad for this tutorial. So go ahead and click next. And then we are going to title the ad set name and I'm literally just gonna type this the same um, or very similar Minta video spring shorts, new arrivals. And then we are going to scroll down um, we want where it's asking the conversion event location. This is going to be our website. This is where people make transactions for our products. So we will make sure that is selected. And here you want to make sure that it has pulled in your pixel from um, what we created earlier in our very first video. And then your conversion event. It has defaulted to add to cart, but we want to um, measure the success of this based on purchase. So we will go ahead and select purchase. And then we will continue to scroll down here. This is very important. This is your daily budget. So you want to make this something that you're comfortable with. Um, you know, it's OK to start with a very small budget if you're looking to, you know, test out a new campaign. Um, keep in mind, you're probably not going to see many conversions or results with the lower budget, but at least you'll be able to see if people are engaging with your ad, clicking on it, interacting. Um, and then later that will assist you in your retargeting. Uh, for this example, I am just going to leave it here at this $20 daily budget and our start date of the 15th. One thing I like to do, especially if you're newer to ads, is set an end date. And I do this because if you are not going to be looking every single day, which you should be, but I know we're busy, um, and if you feel like you might let this just go out of hand and not check on it as often as you should, you're going to want to set an end date so that you're not going to end up letting this run indefinitely and spending a whole bunch of money that you were not planning on spending. So I am going to let it go for three days and that way I can have some good solid results after those three days to see if this ad is working or not. So I'm gonna set an end date. Again, this is optional. Um, I'm just doing it for this example. All right, and then here is the audience section and this is where we are selecting who is going to be who we want Facebook to show our ad to. So since we created our audience previously, we're going to select the use saved audience and select the audience that we created before. Or if you've created multiple audiences, whichever audience you want this ad to show to, go ahead and select it. I'm going to select my parent audience here and then it populates all of the information that we saved before. Then we will go down here to placements and we're gonna leave it here on automatic. Uh, if you wanted to select where you want your ad shown, this uh, is in areas like Instagram feed, Instagram stories, Facebook feed, Facebook stories. Uh, you can see here, there's all kinds of different areas if, for your ad to show up. It can show up in Messenger, it can show up in their audience network. 
while we're starting a new campaign, we're going to let it go here to all of them and just hit the automatic placements. Once you have a little more data, I like to keep it pretty standard and just do Facebook, Instagram and keep it to the uh, feeds and the stories portion, which you can whoop, let me scroll down. You can see here. So if I open this menu and see feeds, you see Facebook news feed, Instagram feed. I would usually leave these two selected and then unselect everything else. Um, but right now we are going to use the automatic placement. And then we're going to go ahead and scroll down and hit next. All right. And then here we have our ad name. So I am going to title this spring printed shorts. New arrivals. Again, you want this to be descriptive of what your ad is about. And then you want to make sure that your business Facebook page is connected here and the Instagram account. So I am going to select this here where it says use selected page and make sure that it is selecting my proper Instagram account. And then we can scroll down. And this is where we set up our creative. So since we've already made our video, all we are going to have to do is upload it. Um, in here and you want to select the single image or video since we have a single image and you just scroll down a little bit to where you see add media and we are going to add video and then this will allow us to upload the video directly from our computer where we saved it so I will go to upload go back to the folder I saved it in my Facebook ad videos, new spring shorts, and hit open. And then it's gonna load it. So we have to wait until it loads. What's crazy is Minta actually creates your video almost faster than Facebook can upload it in here for you. That's why I love Minta. All right, so I selected my video and I will hit next. And we're just gonna leave this as is. All of these settings should be just fine. Go ahead and hit done. And you can see it's brought our video over here. So now what we wanna do is create our ad copy text. So here your primary text, we can, um, I'm gonna say, get your, little one ready for spring in our new adorable printed swim shorts something like that obviously you want to take some time to create copy that is going to be engaging um, and that people are going to want to you know interact on your ad um, so that is your primary text you can do and you see that shows up right here at the top of your ad if you scroll down and we write this under headline this could be a great place if you have a sale or some sort of promotion um, i could write you know save 15 percent today so if i have a sale going on it's going to put that in bold down here at the bottom of our ad let me scroll down so I don't know why this keeps happening. Well, it should populate that into the ad in just a second. And I also want to go down here and input your website URL. So you will want to direct this to probably if it's a collection of products to the collection page. Um, if it's a specific product, you want to direct them directly to that product. I'm just going to type in the URL of my website, the home page here, and you'll see it's also going to bring this down at the bottom of the ad right here. So now I have my save 15% today, my noahsboutique.com, and here's a little button that says learn more. I want that to be a different call to action which you can see here and I want it to say shop now so depending on what you guys are advertising um, you know you can choose from one of those selections so we're gonna select shop now and then 
scroll down and make sure here that our tracking that it's selected to your pixel um, if you want to build a URL parameter this helps as far as tracking results um, you can from within your Shopify where you look at your conversions you can build a URL parameter so this is typing where your campaign source I would just type Facebook so I know that that click maybe came from a Facebook ad um, campaign you could type your campaign name it's campaign name here actually I'm going to change this I like to put social so I know Facebook social Oops, I could spell and then your campaign name and campaign content you can put your ad name that way you know which ad is sending that traffic and then you can hit apply and now you have a completed ready to go ad and all you would need to do is hit publish I am NOT going to hit publish because I don't want to make this live but that would be your very next step um, as far as creating this ad campaign it will go through a review process with Facebook to make sure that it meets all of their terms you know depending on they have regulations on products and you know words all of that mm -hmm. so usually it's fairly quickly um, you'll get a notification and be able to see that your ad is live um, once you're all done and you hit publish you can close here and you will then be able to see I'll go ahead and click on my campaigns tab mine's in draft but you would be able to see here and it would say in review and that's how you know you've created your ad successfully all right so after your campaign is set up and you let that run a few days our next video will be discussing how to check the results of your ads so I hope you guys are really excited to start um, running your first campaign with your Minta video and as you can see it was super super easy and I will see you guys in our next video series